Hey everybody, it's Glidercat and it's time to play. We are back in Satisfactory. Of course, we've got three hard drives to process. Uh, I've already put one in the MAM, I think. Let's just uh, double check and see if we can get a good alternate recipe for our steel production. That's what we want to work on next. Let's take a look and I'm going to apologize ahead of time. I'm going to hit the wrong button or interact because I've just been playing a different game that uses the F key for interact. So we may, I may stumble on that a bit. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay, pure iron ingot. This takes iron ore with water in a refinery to stretch out the iron and make iron ingots. That might be compelling later on. I don't, I'm not really worried about stretching out iron. It seems like there's a ton of iron deposits. Then we've got crystal beacons. Beacons. Are these even used for anything in manufacturing other than just place them around? Four steel beams, 16 steel pipes, and one crystal oscillator gets you 20 beacons uh, in a manufacturer. That's kind of strange. We haven't even made use of the beacons. And then we got bolted frames. So plates. Reinforced plates plus screws for modular frames. We do want to make frames soon uh, and set up a factory for that. We do have a screw factory and a reinforced iron plate factory right next to each other. This could come in handy. Let me take a look at these. All right, I'm back. It looks like the beacons have been replaced in the latest update. So beacons are now used in an alternate recipe for like uranium power or something. And then uh, this is an alternate recipe just to produce them. I'm not compelled to do that one. Bolted frame, not compelled. I guess this pure iron ingot, we gotta wait till we get to the refinery to even make use of this, but I'm gonna go with this one. This is gonna just add water and you get a bunch more um, iron. May come in handy in the late game. Let's select that one and get another hard drive going. We got two more. We'll get this one scanned and it's gonna take 10 minutes. Um, we'll come back when it's scanned. Then the last hard drive, we need to decide what to do with it. We can use it in the MAM immediately to unlock compacted coal. And I'm thinking compacted coal might be useful for um, fueling all of our trucks. It's got almost twice the power of regular coal, or holds almost twice the power, which means our trucks can go twice as far um, with a stack of that. So we'll see, or we'll scan it. We'll see what happens with, with this scan, and then we'll make a decision on, on what to do with that third hard drive. I will be right back when this scan is continued, or completed. All right, our hard drive has finished being scanned. Let's see what we get. Choose from here. Uh, solid steel ingot. Is that using, okay, coal. Iron plus coal gets us steel. That's, well, I'll help take a look at that. That may come in handy. Caterium wire, this is, we've seen this one about three dozen times so far. Taking caterium and making wire out of it, I don't think that's worthwhile. And then concrete, there's so many, so much limestone around. I doubt this is uh, very compelling to us. We've got more limestone mines than we know what to do with. But this one looks pretty cool. Let me take a look. All right. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. Let's go with the solid steel ingot. This is going to help us tremendous in our future factory here that we're going to work on. Confirm boom. But then I think I'm going to use our last hard drive. And we've got one more left. But I'm not going to scan it. Let's go to the MAM. Speaking of... Uh, not the MAM. Yeah, the MAM. That's where we want to be. But, um... In between episodes, I've been turning my caterium ingots, I've been smelting up the caterium that I've been chipping up from different nodes and turning it into quick wire. So we might have some more MAM stuff to unlock. Let's clear this. I don't need that anymore. And let's go back to the MAM and see what we can do in the tech tree. Aside from scanning hard drives, we've got on the caterium tree, we should have some things we can unlock. Okay, Caterium Electronics. I've got 774 quick wire. Let's do it. Let's see what that opens up. K 
Okay, we've got Power Poles Mark II. Uh, that is compelling. And we've got High Speed Connectors. And we've got AI Limiters. Um, we can do a couple of these. Let's do the Mark II Power Poles. For sure. That's going to get us more connections per pull. New building unlocked. I'm not terribly compelled to do the stun rebar. So far we've been getting by just fine on our own. We'll eventually research that once we've once we're producing the quick wire in an automated fashion. Zipline tube, not super interested. Uh, we've got higher level power poles down here. Bullet guidance system. Power switch. Oh, smart splitter. I want to work towards the smart splitter. Let's uh, unlock this guy, the AI limiter. Okay. Oh, can we do this? Almost. We need 10 AI limiters. This takes... Hmm. But well, it would take 200 more quick wire. Do I... How much do I have left? Where is it in this mess? Quick wire. I'm going to unload inventory here before we go work on steel production. Do I have, where is my quick wire? I'm sure you guys see it. It's not mixed in with this wire. Oh, there it is. 174. Yeah, if I wanted to get 10 AI limiters, it looks like I would need 200 quick wire, and I just don't have it. I got 174. Just short. Boy, that's something we're going to want, though, right? Is the smart splitter. That looks compelling. And then what do we have here? Programmable splitter, even better. But that's going to require some stuff we... Supercomputers. I think we're ways from making that. Let's just double check and see if there's anything else I missed in here that I could get. Nuke. Deuterium. We were just in this. Uh, Mycelia. Nope, we need staters, we need novelists, we need plastic for that one. This one, what do you need? Steel. Power slugs is done. Quartz. We need the crystal oscillators, which I can't make yet. Radar tower. Sulfur, anything? Oh, compacted coal. We're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to use that last hard drive for compacted coal. I just need to grab some sulfur. And we'll make a compacted coal mine soon. Uh, I've got sulfur here. Let's grab 100. Did that actually swap it? That's not what I wanted it to do. Um, yeah, let's take this back. Yeah, let's use the last hard drive for this compacted coal. I want this recipe. We can use this for more efficient power generation. It kind of stretches out our coal by using sulfur. And I kind of like it as, or like the idea of using this as vehicle fuel. So we'll see if we end up doing that. Uh, what else can we get? Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. And... Does this take a hard drive, too? What? Oh, turbo fuel. Interesting. Hmm. Think about that. All right. We are just about ready to start on the steel. What I'm going to do is clean up my inventory, refill our biomass burners, and then we can make sure we've got enough building materials to do the steel stuff. And we'll be back and get started on that real quick. I'll be back in a minute. Second, actually. All right, we are back and we're ready to go. I've got the um, biomass burners fully stocked up, all 49. So we've got some time. We need to head over and start making steel with our new alternate recipe. Uh, before we do, I'm going to stop over here and drop off some smart plating. I've been carrying it on me for a long time. Let's drop it off. Uh, here we go. Boom. We still need to do the versatile frameworks and the automated wiring. That's going to come quite a few episodes later. <laughs> we've got, we've got a ton. We've got a ton to do. 
let's head over to where we've got a coal deposit that I don't, I don't think we've exploded yet and a bunch of iron deposits. Uh, before we do, let's take a quick look at what we're going to need to assemble here. We're going to need foundries. So it looks like I've got plenty of what I need here. We could make 27 of these with the um, modular frames that we've got. Uh, we're going to need smelters too. Looks like we're well supplied there. And we're going to need... Um, I don't know if we're going to need assemblers yet. I don't think so. I think we've got enough equipment. We're going to need miners. So yeah, I probably need to get uh, a few more portable miners. Let's just go grab some. Or craft those up before we head out. Oh man, I still have to close up our screw factory. But yeah, let's craft a few miners. Portable miners. I think we're going to need at least five total. And I believe I've got, what, one of them on me now? Yeah, I've got one, so we need four more of these. Where are you? Three. Yeah, five total. I may go one extra just in case I'm forgetting something. Uh, that's six. Let's go two extra. Boom. Good to go. All right, we can head out this way. We will flaunt our speed in front of these poison plants. We need to find a coal deposit. I think we went over there when we were hunting for hard drives a few episodes back. That's where we need to be. Back this way. These rocks, I'm wondering if we can blow these up. We're going to try. They look different from season one. Let's play. Oh, there's there's a little power slug up there. Can we grab that now that I've got these? Uh... Oops, not like that. I'm not going to. Let's grab that power slug. I think we can get it. We'll try one time. We're close enough. We got it. Uh, can we see where we're going? Yeah, we're heading over here. This steel factory is going to be huge, and we're going to make a lot of different products in here. Eventually, we're going to make use of this limestone mine to do encased steel beams. And we're going to make use of these two iron mines over here as well. I think there's two here, or is it just the one? Oh, this is our copper. We're going to need this for staters, I believe, which we're also going to make in this giant factory. And there should be somewhere around here. Hey, we still have enemies down there. What are they protecting? Oh, man, so easily distracted. There must be something worth grabbing there, right? A power slug? Let's do it while we see him. Uh, I want this guy. They're already coming on me. Take these guys out. I'm surprised I have any near the base. I haven't taken out already. Okay, he's taking a nap. Another one down there. Got him. And he's taking a nap. We may have to platform our way back up. Let's just see what they were protecting. It might be another power slug or something. Where are you guys? Here they are. Anything? Bauxite? We'll grab this. Anything else down here? It's got to be something, right? Of value? Beyond pale berries? We'll chip away that stuff later. Huh. What am I missing? What am I missing? 
Unless these respawned in after I already claimed what was down here. Not sure. Uh, let's see if we can hop up. Okay, here's our way out. Right next to those poison towers. There's a little doggo. We're not going to bother with the doggo, probably. Copper mine we just saw. There should be a couple iron mines over here. These are them, and these ones are normal, right? Yeah, two normal iron mines here. We're going to tap into these for sure. And we're going to assume um, Mark II miners. And in fact, we're going to assume Mark II miners that are overclocked a little bit for these. And where's our coal? Coal is right across that bridge. There it is, straight away. We are going to overclock that thing, and we're going to assume that we're gonna be, um, we're gonna assume that we've got Mark IV belts for this. Mark IV belts and overclocked coal mine to produce 480 or a minute. That's how we're gonna design the factory. It's not gonna support that right off the bat or we're not gonna get that much coal right off the bat, but we're gonna scale the factory and design it as if we were. Just looking for the other two. There's two more iron mines we're going to tap into. Uh, that's our coal. So we'll bring that off of the island somehow out here. Should be two more iron mines we want to tap into around here somewhere. I can scan for them, right? Let's see. Aren't they right nearby? I thought they were right here. This must be them, yeah. And these are impure, so these ones aren't so great. So we got these impure ones. I'm actually going to do the fly mode here, just so we can get a bird's eye view. And pick a place to uh, build this factory. Like I said, it's going to be fairly huge. Okay, there's our two normal iron mines. There's our copper. Again, we're going to use that for staters. There's our um, limestone. We're going to use that for encased industrial beams. And then we've got our two impure, I got my boots. We got two impure iron mines. And we're going to use that all for steel. And then we've got, looks like another limestone mine in the distance if we need it. That's about it. So we want to be somewhat centrally located, but we also want to um, leave enough space for truck routes or truck stations because we're going to be bringing parts into this factory and we're going to be taking parts out of this factory. And like I said, it's going to be pretty huge when everything's said and done. In fact, we could... We could build on top of these deposits. We could go pretty big here. I hate to hang over the edge, but we could do that. Um, yeah, our limestone's here. We could go right next to this guy. Somewhere like this. It's going to be pretty big. And then maybe use this frontage area or truck stations, and then we'll get rid of these rocks later, once we get obelisks. So let's do that. We need all these, <laughs> all this ore, man. Oh man, it's gonna be a biggie. It's gonna be a biggie. So let's, yeah, let's start the factory here. And go all the way back. Okay. I think I know what I want to do. Let's head down. Uh, I didn't account for the limestone mine, but I did make extra portable miners, so we should be okay. Um, what I want to do... 
is let's put let's put a foundation down. Align it with the global um, grid. Okay. Boom. I'm just gonna plunk a mine around here. We're not going to mine this resource just yet, but I want it for the height. I wanna be above all these. So let me just put in, um, I'll take some of this out in a minute. Zoop. I'm gonna go stairs just so I can gauge the height on everything. I'll still never quite understand how the stairs snap. Okay, does this put us above the miner or do we need to go one more? Let's go one more. Hey, can't walk. All right, this is the level. Factory boy doesn't leave much room for trucking over here, but there's enough, I guess. We'll see. We may cheat this back the other way a little bit. Lots of room back this way. Still tons of room back this way. So let's do it. All right, that's the starting foundation, and we're going to build out away from these factories. So if we need more space, we're going to expand kind of in that direction. Let's get some stairs over here. I guess we've got one set over here. We'll use it. I'm just going to head down and take a look at how this is taking shape. Don't want to hang over the edge into the abyss if we can. We'll put supports here to make this look kind of cool later. These are my, what, normal iron. We could go one more, maybe? Let's do it. Let's go one more. And can we go one more? We're going to want some space. I know we're going to want space in this factory. Um, let's do it. Let's go one more. And first order of business is let's get ore from our th four iron mines and our coal mine up into the factory. Where's the coal? Is it over here? It's on the other side. On the other side, right? So this will belt in somehow. Coal is where? Way over here? Where'd you go, coal? It 
really that far away? Yeah, there it is. Uh, we're going to belt that. Oh, man. <clears throat> How do we want to do that? All the way from here? Hmm. <clears throat> Let's go back into fly mode and take a look. Get a bird's eye view. It'd be a little bit easier to plan this. Two iron over there. Yeah, there's our coal. That's going to make a long trip up to the factory here. And then where's our other two impure guys? Right here, right? Impure, impure. Normal, normal. Limestone and copper somewhere, right? Copper there. So we can expand, we're gonna cover this. We're gonna be on top of that arch, which is nice. Above it, I mean. Yeah, we can come out this way quite a bit further. I'm gonna do it. I have, just have a feeling we're gonna need a ton of space and I can always trim it back if we don't. But I'm gonna expand this a little bit more. That's good. All right, coal is the furthest away. So now we got to figure out how we want to bring that coal over. I guess it would make sense to try to platform our way over there. Uh, we can try. We can try it. Let's see. Control. Snap to the world grid here. Oh man, this is a little scary. Let's uh let's see three. Oh man, yeah, that's a little trippy, right? <laughs> this could end really bad. to be super cautious here. Radiation somewhere. Where the heck is that coming from? Oh, there's a node. I think there's a radioactive node over here of... Oh, man. Oh, man, that was my boots. Hold on. Hold on. These guys almost got me killed. All right, I do not want to fall into the abyss. Can we find our way back up? We can. Yeah, there's a radioactive node, I believe, over here that's uh, causing us a little bit of grief, but we'll do our best to avoid it. All right, let's get a miner going here. Oh, man, it's taking forever already. Boom. And we got to get power down here. It's another thing. We're going to need to route. 
If I have an easy way to do that, let's uh let's take care of that problem. Of course, now I want my blade runners on. Power maybe from this direction we'll grab it. I don't want to pull it out of the factory. I'd rather have it travel on land. So let's find the nearest pole that's actually on land. Looks like I see one now. Oh, you know what? We've got the new power poles. How much are those? Let's see how much those... What they take, resource-wise. Uh, whoops. These guys. Oh, Caterium wire. Uh, not yet. Quick wire, I guess. Not yet. These give us seven connections. I'm going to go with the regular ones for now. We will switch to those new ones once we, um, once we actually start producing Caterium wire. For now, we'll use these guys. Just take these off when we're in this area. I do not want to fall into the abyss. I should put up little guardrails or something. Maybe I will later. Is powered. Okay, this thing's given us 120. We're gonna overclock this thing major, and we're also gonna upgrade it to a Mark II. So once we have the actual steel to do those upgrades, I think since we have to come back anyway do the mark 2 upgrade we'll do the overclocking once we have the ability to do the upgrade and that's going to take a while before we get that okay now we got to belt this thing and we got to be a little cautious about the radiation May not look super pretty, we'll see. Turns out that's not the kind of turn I wanted for sure. Fix it.
so paranoid walking over here. <laughs> I'm going to have to put guardrails or ledges or something. Is uh, It's a little trippy, actually. At least for me, it's trippy. Now I want to get it just somewhere over here. So why don't you keep coming straight over to me if you can. And we'll plan for like the third or fourth foundation in. Uh, it's going to be hard to get this real straight. Okay, and let's put in our little port. That'll do. I'm just picking the fourth one just because we have a mine over here. We're going to be sending up. So this is fine. Uh, lights, maybe. I'll take it. That actually turned out better than I thought it would. All right, next one can come up here. This will be one of our iron. Might do. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Is it? Mm, I can't. I don't know if I can make this one look pretty. Uh, it doesn't want to go at all, does it? that oh that's a shame right that would have looked good um we may have to reorient the miner or i could move it over one uh we can move it over one pretty easy let's try that Good enough for me. We need to get power under here. Let's tap into that line we just ran. Um, but we're going to come across from it this way, this direction. Intercept it. We can uh, power these two mines with it as well. Where are you? That's not bad. reroute these if we need to later. Okay, that one's hooked up. Okay, there goes the first batch of iron going up. Let's get another iron mine down. We can just copy that guy.
try to make this look a little nicer. A little bit of an angle, but I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, power. Okay, we got two iron and a coal going. Now we need to get two more iron for our needs up here. Copper is going to come later, and the limestone is going to come later, too. Much later. There's our one impure. There's our other impure. These ones, uh, I think I can combine. Yeah, I'm looking at my notes here. We can combine these. Uh, can I copy from this distance? We're going to put the output of both of these onto a single belt. Let's do that one like that. This one like that. Uh, just debating whether to put a merger down first. Might do that. Um, to guess at this a bit. this all the way back. I want this back, 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 back. So this is going to be a belt that's got... What are these? These are each kicking out 30 right now, but eventually they're going to kick out 60 once we upgrade them to Mark IIs. And then I'm going to... I think just keep these as they are. I don't think we're going to overclock these ones. But we might overclock those other ones. I'm pretty sure we're going to. So now we just need to get this belt to that side of the factory. Got all kinds of stuff going on over here. Um, how do we want to route this? 
<laughs> Bear with me. Let's try and do it over here. Nice to have these line up. It'd be cool if when you drag this, somewhere on that display in front of me, if it showed like how many meters long it was, then you could kind of take note of one of them and make sure the others all matched. But I don't think that's a, a feature we have. All right. That is four iron mines, two impure and two normals feeding up and then we've got one coal mine feeding up now it's time to get the smelting let's go to our crazy stairway way over here and because we've got an alternate recipe to produce steel we need to actually um, we need to smelt our iron into ingots before anything else and then send it up a floor. I can patch in some of this. Some floors are going to end up having more surplus space than others. But again, once we have it done, then I can uh, trim it to whatever size we want and maybe make it look more aesthetic. It's going to start out as a big old box. All right, let's get to our ports and we'll do the smelting. We've got three different belts we're going to work with. Uh, we need a floor too, right? We need to send things up. Where do we want our stairway to be? This side is fine. This side's a good place for our stairs. So let's do it. Uh, in fact, we might want to put walls, <laughs> walls up along here too so I don't fall. All right, stairs. I do not know how to place these stairs the way I want. There we go. There we go. Up, two, three. Catwalk. And then block this way. Okay, let's uh, build this out.
All right, we need to worry about power. Let's go see if we can solve that problem. Power for the building. That is up. Can we go down here? Let's see. Is there room to go down? Or are we going to end up in the abyss? Oh, man. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, we need to go actually all the way down. Yeah, we need to get power to where we need it. And I think I want to run on this corner if I can get there. Let's see if we can do it. I'd love to have it right on this corner wall. Let's get a wall. Basic wall there. Double wall power outlet, outlet. We can put it. I think that's where I want it. And power. This pole's got one last connection. Okay. Factory has power. Uh, that was an interesting placement. If we can do something better. A little dangerous down here. Uh, well, it's... That's not bad. Safe. All right. Really should put walls up on all these sides so I don't go falling off of there. Yeah, awesome. The power cable's right exactly where I want it. Boom. Boom. It's actually one higher than I want it, but that's all right. We're going to leave it. Uh, okay. We got power. We've got ingots. Now I need to remember which ones are which. Because it does matter. The ones that are merged are way on the far side, right? So that is going to be, I think, 120 when all is said and done, right? We're getting 30 per out of each of those. We upgrade her to Mark twos. It's going to be 60 each. So that belt is going to have 120. And then these guys are each getting us 60. When we upgrade her to Mark twos, it's going to be 120. And we're going to overclock these things till we get 180 out of each of these. This one and that one underneath the stairs, 180. So the far one is our 120 and these are 180s and in the middle, we have our coal, right? So let's send the coal up. We don't need it on this floor. Okay. There goes a beautiful coal. Uh, weird shadows here, right? Is that just my flashlight or something? Strange, very strange. You come up, you come up. Those are the two lines that are gonna have 180 each. And the 180 each lines, we need six smelters, right? 30 per. 
So we're gonna have six smelters for each one of these. And we need to worry about the output belt, where we want the output belt. Um, okay. Let's do our six smelters. Got room, let me push back a little bit here. to go center of the block for all these. Okay, these are all going to be iron ingots. We'll just do one of these, one line, and then I'll do the other two lines off camera. And then when we get back next episode, we'll work on the um, the next level, which is actually the steel ingots. We'll combine these iron ingots with coal up on the next floor. Okay, here's my input belt. Iron ingots, 180, or uh, iron ore, 180 a minute. 30 per machine here. Uh, do the power before we have too many belts that we need to hop over. You over to this row looks good. So this factory, we're going to do... Um, we're going to do part of the factory development, then we're going to go move on to some other tasks, and then we're going to come back and do more factory development. We want to do steel ingots, and then convert those ingots into steel beams and steel pipes. Once we have steel pipes and steel um, beams, then we can unlock a bunch of hub upgrades that are going to allow us to um, upgrade the, all of our Mark 1 miners that we've got scattered around to Mark 2s. And it's also going to allow us to unlock belt upgrades so we can get to another tier in belts. So we'll do some things in between and then we'll come back and do things like the encased beams, staters, and um, and some of the other stuff that, that we can make from those steel beams and those steel pipes. Okay, splitters here on the input line. Then our output, I think what I'm going to do is weave our output back this way and feed it up here. We'll come around this way and feed up iron ingots through this port. So that's going to be kind of going in. Yeah, interesting... Uh, color here, right? Not sure what that's from. It's bizarre. Bizarre, bizarre. Okay, alpha belt. Wow, just right on this thing.
soldiers here. Now these belts I'm using right now, right? They can't even handle this capacity, can they? Or let's see. Uh, where are you? Mark twos can only handle 120, right? We're sending, we're, I said we're bringing in 180 ore. So we're going to have to come back and upgrade these belts. We're going to upgrade the belts, upgrade the miners, and then overclock the miners. So we're building for scale that we don't have yet. We're building for tiered components that we don't have unlocked yet. But this steel factory is going to be the actual thing that unlocks those, those better tiers for us. So we'll have them soon. So I want to build the factory as if we've got them. So we can come back, do some quick upgrades, and we'll be good to go. Boom. But yeah, after we do the steel beams and the steel pipes, we're probably going to head over to the coal mine for our coal power plants and scale that whole area up. Scale up the miners, overclock the miners, um, maybe blast that one rock that's blocking the fourth coal mine and scale up all our power, right? Because we're gonna be throwing a bunch more machines on our network and we're still running off of biomass and we are burning through it. Right before this episode, I emptied out two complete storage containers full of biofuel to fill up our biomass burners. So we're throwing a bunch more machines down so as soon as we can get some steel beams and steel pipes, do those upgrades, and then we'll head out to the coal power plant and scale that up significantly. All right, let's see. While I'm talking, what did I miss? What did I mess up, I should say? We got to do all of these outputs. Get these wired up. And we'll call it an episode. Uh, I like that in the correct direction. All right, I see ingots all the way down, and this guy needs it. All right, we are on our way. In between episodes, I am going to set up another line just identical to this, using this supply of uh, iron ore. This one, I'm assuming, is 180 coming in. And then this one down here is our 120. And so this will just need four smelters. And then we'll pump that iron ingots up top. And the next episode, when we get back, I'll show you what I did. And then we will get to combining these iron ingots with coal and making steel ingots. And I might make a run over to the biomass power station just to make sure we're, we're doing okay because we've got a lot of machines. We've got our whole smart plating factory. We've got um, our screw factory way back there. We can see all the storage containers way back where my crosshairs are. We've got uh, reinforced plates here. Or no, reinforced plates. Oh no, plates, I don't even know. What is that factory? I'm losing track. This is our, oh yeah, our reinforced plates there, and then our copper works here. And again, once we get the steel beams and steel pipes, we need to upgrade these factories as well. At least upgrade the mines. I think once we upgrade the miners, everything else should be fine on these. Um, I don't think we need to actually upgrade the belts on these, but we could if we wanted to. But yeah, we're making progress for analysis of Glider Cat, saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this series on Satisfactory. If you would like to support the content here on the GliderCat channel, there are links to do so in the description. It'd be greatly appreciated. And thanks to everybody that's been giving the videos a thumbs up and sticking with the series. I will see you in the next one.